Um, also, would you would you like to make a wager here on uh, Hoop Theory? Uh, sure. LeBron says that he is 50-50 whether or not he'll have a uh, a farewell tour season. Uh, Did he say 50-50? I saw the He said a 50-50. Okay, yeah. I'm willing to put almost my life savings on what 50% that's going to land on. Yeah, um, I agree. He's I mean, going to have a farewell tour. I believe what he's saying in terms of like he's had that thought before, but I never in a million years feel like if it came down to it and he had to flip a coin for it and it landed on that he had to do no farewell tour, like he, he would, would not so, be If okay he knows that this is his last ride ahead of the season. Yeah, uh -huh, exactly. I think the only way that we don't get one is if he like gets hurt and he's like, I don't want to like battle back through this. I was going to be done next year anyway. Mm -hmm. Like that's the only way world where i feel like we don't get a at least at the minimum like at the all-star break his team's not gonna make the playoffs and he's like shower me with gifts because i'm leaving yeah but i i doubt it's just like at the end of the season like this past one where he said something like about like that's not gonna happen that way i highly doubt that that would be I, so out of nowhere for lebron character yeah. I, just out of character it would not make sense uh -huh. especially with last year like there's always been this talk he's gonna try and play with Bronny. like that's always been a thing mm -hmm. honestly i wouldn't be surprised if lebron doesn't try to stick around and play with bryce yeah, for it's sure. Just three more seasons. It's not that big. Of a I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. I think the uh, damage that an NBA season puts on a human being's body is often undersold. But yeah, for sure.